Uh, mm-hmm. Best arts uh, for real for realism. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That's a hell of a title. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Resident Evil 3, Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Last of Us Part II, Watch Dogs Legion, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm... I'm actually going to argue Resident Evil 3 because they made Nemesis legit look like he is a dude in a suit. I think that's what makes Nemesis more terrifying. I think those textures (laughs) are running towards you at top speed and you're like, no, or like a leaping onto a freaking gate in front of you. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. It's just to me how they manage to what's the word? Uh, Realistic. This isn't a word, but like realistify Nemesis just literally is just utter nightmare fuel to me. Yeah, he just I, looks I, horrifyingly gross. Also, I, the I, fact I, that Jill and Carlos look like actual people now. Because mm-hmm. the would, fucking RE engine, dude, that engine's just goddamn insane. I would push back against that, and I would say the texture work could actually use a lot of improvement, specifically with characters' faces. The yeah. the human really? ones. Really? I thought least. the characters' faces looked fucking uh, amazing. That's where I was. I, I, that's, a, that's a strong disagree for me. How's they looking for the so, cool faces mod? I, I would like to... <laughs> no, I need, I I need like to see to... those freaking skin pores, and dude, I need to see that... S- I don't know, like, just compared to other things on here, I'm just, I'm just like, no, they're, they're kind of flat. I would like to say that, um, so The Last of Us Part 2, I actually, when I started the game and, like, parts, parts of the game and stuff, when there were, like, scenes of characters talking, I would actually, um purposely look at their eyes because I noticed that a lot of games that do realistic um, realistic art styles, their eyes are the hardest things to mm-hmm. get correct um, on where they're like looking. And because sometimes they'll drift off or sometimes they'll like, they'll shake or something. I don't know. It's like... Or sometimes it, it, it's, it, it's a Bethesda game where they just stare at you and they don't yeah. blink. Yeah, their exactly. Eyes don't even so <laughs> if, if they can get the eyes right, which they, I feel like they did in The Last of Us because it was like you could see the focus in their eyes. You could see the emotion in their eyes. Um, then that 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 does it for me because that's one of the hardest see, things to do. I would totally agree with, with you. And I think The Last of Us 2 is absolutely beautiful. But that's when you start to get to Uncanny Valley ter- 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 uh, territory. Oh, I think we're past that now. I think we're, <laughs> we're past no, that. No, <laughs> depends, depends on the studio. Depends on the studio. Have you played a David Cage game in the last yeah. decade? The Uncanny Valley is there and fucking alive, Corey. Oh, okay. So, you know what? They couldn't get past uh, Uncanny Valley, so they literally made half the characters robots to justify it. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. That's that what it's supposed to look like. That was a fucking dig, and I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, Christ. That's uh, Nexus. good. That's good. Sorry. Next is good. <laughs> Props to you, man. That also, was I, so I just... <laughs> also, like a few of these games are on next year. Like Spider Man Miles Morales is specifically for yeah, PS5. I was so, like, like <laughs> putting like. Because, like, obviously things are going to look more realistic in a PS5 game. Like, mm-hmm. Well, I, w- I would argue, like, obviously, like, the tech will allow for, um, for better advances and whatnot. <laughs> But I would think, like, the attention to detail, like uh, Corey had stated for The Last of Us Part Two, I would still say that's more impressive than some of the graphical leaps that Miles Morales is able to achieve because of the PS5's hardware. I think some of the full body stuff that they do in Miles Morales is really incredible. Mm-hmm. I think, I think the, yeah. the... Go ahead. I was going to say, the depth of field is incredible. Speaking of depth of field, my pick is Yakuza 7. Hmm. Oh, yeah, wow. I think that game just looks perfect. Yeah, for me, it's kind <laughs> of a toss-up between Ghost of Tsushima and Yakuza Seven. I'll probably go Yakuza Seven because I have how colorful it is. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I like think colors. that's the most votes, so that probably just wins by default. Then, like, right? you guys want to go hair? into detail why it why why you like, voting for it? The, the, their use of depth of field in Yakuza Seven is so perfect. Ichiban's hair, which by the way looks fantastic immediately, and th- that type of hair is always hard to do in video games. I mean, I would also argue that uh, Carlos's hair is just <laughs> same thing. Yeah, beautiful. But also, like, it's I like just... I, I feel like, like yeah, even you though just I have like run your hands through it, it just looks so like soft. 
even though I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima, the fact that so many people are just using and abusing the photo mode like crazy yeah. with that game, yeah, that it just really goes great. to show you how beautiful it is. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it's just like it's not that it's just like so realistic because on that level it's all right, but just the colors are so mm-hmm. gorgeous. Yeah, but so I have to give it has a nicely stuff. detailed butt too. Yeah, mm. <laughs> you see a Ooh, lot of it, round too. grabbing. All right, so Yakuza like a dragon wins. 